get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age, with the same height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Ghost Dog. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Destroyer. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup at strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this channel. Big punch land over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Liver kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Huh. You are battering that dude. Oh, he heard a belly jab. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Kick to the body now, that one will land. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Massive head kick. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over two minutes now to go. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. He got him. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Beautiful one. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Works out. 
for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee, so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fight. No, John. <laughs> John, John, listen. No, John. <laughs> no, don't throw a flying knee. Okay. hand but doesn't find its home well he's been pretty accurate tonight he's landed some significant strikes but his corners looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume because they don't see too much of a threat this guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations he's still safe but he's also going to be able to land he's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Great punch landed with so much power. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just a fool. different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Nice punch land over the top. found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the destroyer. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.